Hello, welcome to Royal Women at the Fashion Museum. I'm Ellie Summers, Collection Manager here at the Museum, and today we're going to be looking at some amazing pieces from the Fashion Museum collection, worn by members of the British Royal Family. The Fashion Museum collection numbers some 100,000 objects and includes dress for women, men and children, glittering treasures from the 17th century up to cutting-edge fashion by today's designers and makers. And one of the jewels of the Fashion Museum is a wonderful collection of royal dress. What a fabulous dress. It's a fabulous dress, this one. It um, belongs to um, Queen Alexandra, who was married to King Edward VII. But this was before she became Queen Alexandra, when she was Princess of Wales in the 1890s. This dress actually dates to 1893, and we know it was made by um, a lesser known Parisian dressmaker called Morin Blosier, because as you can see here, there's a, a beautiful maker's name tape in the waistband. It's lovely to see how it's stitched into the boning of the bodice yeah. as well. With this, it's got really nice crisscross stitching across all of these three central bones, which is beautiful. This dress was given um, by Alexandra to her good friend, the Countess of Shannon. And I believe the Countess of Shannon wore it. Um, and it was then passed down through her family. It was worn in um, the 1930s to fancy dress parties. <laughs> um, and the, the owner, who, who was a, a relative of um, the Countess of Shannon, um, then eventually decided to gift it to what was then the Museum of Costume. And we are now the Fashion Museum. But when it arrived, it didn't have all of this embellishment. In fact, it was deemed far too plain to be able to just um, exhibit as it was. And so it was embellished. And this, this beaded trim, these sort of fake pearls were added at the sleeves and at the neckline to jazz it up a bit. And we actually didn't know this until today. There is a little pocket, a hidden pocket in her evening gown. Look at that. So practical, so chic, so elegant. She was incredibly slender and it wasn't actually that fashionable to be slender then, was it? It was a, a, a more fuller figure was, yeah. uh, was the ideal, but she didn't try and hide it. If anything, she accentuated it. This embellishment is in such a major contrast to the dress we saw previously, which was so plain, so elegant and chic and minimal, but this one is heavily, heavily embellished. So I think it really shows a, a change in the way that Alexandra's using her dress at this time. This is 1910s, so at this point she would be queen, queen consort to Edward VII, her husband. Um, so yeah, there is a real shift, isn't there, from her being Princess of Wales and wearing very simple, classic, um, very chic, to something very, very regal with lots of embellishment. It's made by a French couturier um, called Doye, who was based in Paris. It was actually made when Alexandra was 66 years old. It's still got that beautiful slender silhouette um, and her tiny waist, which at 66 was pretty impressive. And it's the height of fashion. I've just got to talk about these two lines of beading here because these are all pretending to be ribbons with tassels on the end, but they're not free flowing. They're actually pieces of quite heavy embroidery on this very, very delicate chiffon. And the motifs, both the edging of these pretend ribbons and the decorations, so the chevron decorations, the arrowhead decorations, are all made out of beads, a particular type of beads called a bugle bead, which are those long, thin, cylindrical beads. But here we are, the Queen Consort, absolutely using fashion and the height of fashion to, to emphasize her role, her position, her sense of herself. Mm -hmm. 